Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Northern Development and Mines. Speaker, in 2011, this government announced the Growth Plan for Northern Ontario, promising to create a stronger, more diverse, and sustainable northern economy. Northern Ontario has lost 5,000 full-time jobs and more than 6,000 part-time jobs between 2011 and 2016. During the same time, the value of building permits issued in Northern Ontario has declined by 25 per cent. The minister's own quote in the 2011 news release was, was that this plan would, quote, help ensure the development of Northern communities as places where people will want to live, work, and play for future generations, close quote. But after the first five years of this plan, there are 10,000 fewer adults living in Northern Ontario. Question. Speaker, based on those statistics, how would the minister characterize the success of the government's growth plan for Northern Ontario? Thank you. Minister of Northern Development and Mines. Well, Speaker, thank you. And I, I want to thank the member for uh, the question. I think it is fair to characterize uh, and say that Northern communities and rural communities just like all communities that are small and rural right across Canada, and I would say right across North America, are facing a unique set of circumstances and challenges. It is not only in Ontario where small northern and rural communities are facing these challenges. Speaker, they exist in all jurisdictions. I would say certainly in Canada, it's been a consistent problem, Speaker, but I would say absolutely, I would say unequivocally that our government, since being elected in 2003, has provided support to northern and rural communities across a broad range of policy investments, Speaker, that I can speak to more in the supplemental. The member knows that. He would suggest and stand in his place and try and say that these problems just occurred. Yes, there has been some uh, population reduction, Speaker, but I would say the situation in northern communities would have been much greater had it not been for the investments that we've been making Thank since you. forming government some years ago. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, the challenges he's talking about are the ones his government has created. And I recognize this is a 25-year plan, but we're five years, and so far it's a dismal failure. Yep. The population of Northern Ontario is declining. Employment is declining. Less is being built. Businesses like Great Lakes Graphites are leaving. One of the promises of the growth plan for Northern Ontario was, was this, and to quote, immediately develop a long-term strategy to create a more integrated transportation infrastructure system for air, rail, road, and water, close quote. Speaker, that promise was made six years ago, and the most recent document is still a discussion paper. Where is this strategy, and when will we see shovels in the ground on new roads, new rail lines, new shipping docks, or new airstrips? Not going to thank you, Minister. Well, Speaker, by, by way of example, now, one of the investments we've been making in Northern Ontario for quite some time now is to reverse a decision that was made by the Conservative Party when they were in government oh. as well and had been started by the NDP, and that is providing support for forestry companies in Northern Ontario through a forestry roads access program. Since bringing this project back into investment uh, in the province of Ontario since 2005, we've invested about $700 million in primary and secondary forestry roads in the province of Ontario to support forestry companies, primarily a northern -based operation. As well, Speaker, since coming into government, we are investing now somewhere between five and six hundred million dollars annually through a Northern Highways program. Speaker, when they were in government for all eight years from 95 to 2003, the high water mark for Northern Highways was two to 250 million in any wow. one given wow. year. We're going to be doing 650 million this year yeah, in Northern sir. Highways. Wow. Speaker, that's only one more example of the major investments that we've been making in Northern Ontario since forming government some time ago. Thank you.